guys, how are you doing? So I love colours and you only have to look at my pen collection to realise this. <laughs> my GCSE and A level revision notes were so colourful, it was actually ridiculous. I am a bit obsessive with my colours. So it only seemed fitting that I did this tag. It's the colours of the rainbow tag um, and basically what you do is you have to find one thing for every colour of the rainbow. So that's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, pink and multicoloured. Now I am aware I've left off indigo and I've only left off indigo because I cannot find anything indigo in my house. I'm not even kidding. I have searched and searched and nothing is nothing has satisfied me that it's indigo enough. So I've left that one up. And um, I've added on pink and multicoloured because um, that's what I saw on a different tag and I thought that was a very good idea because pink is such a lovely colour. Um, why is it not in the rainbow? I'm joking. I know why it's not in the rainbow. <laughs> I understand enough science to know why that's not, you know, why it's not there. So, um, yeah. Um, so the tag I was watched that gave me the idea to do this was uh, Miss Glamorazzi's um, and I'll leave a link to her, her this video of hers in the down bar so you can go watch it. Um, so yeah, so let's see how I do. So for red, it only seemed fitting that I did a lipstick because lipsticks, you know, red mostly. <laughs> we can have other colours, but you know, red is the main colour. And the colour I have got is the one that I've got is the Kate Moss um, Rimmel one, and it's uh, colour 110. But um, yeah, it's this really nice sort of pinky ready colour. Um, which I wear quite often. It's super pigmented and I think I put this in my favourites video, my spring favourites last week. But yeah, it's really nice colour and um, it's well, it's kind of ready. So <laughs> it's a really pinky colour and it's, so it's not a harsh sort of red colour because I do have another one that is deep, deep red. But um, I will tend to wear this one more than I do the other one because the other one's quite harsh, whereas this one's sort of a soft colour. So for orange, I have my Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. Now, not I haven't got it for orange because it makes me orange. Because I know that some people will get the wrong colour foundation and it makes them go orange and then they always do it wrong and then there's a line down there where you can see where they got their foundation on. But no, it doesn't make me orange. It makes me the right colour, which is my skin colour. Um, I got it for orange because of the orange lid and the orange writing. And um, well, I guess it kind of it's more skin colour than orange, but yeah. So I've got the colour Soft Beige, number 200, and this one is, I have, I was sort of introduced to the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundations uh, at the beginning of this year, and I have never looked back. I've got two different shades, I've got one for um, when I'm slightly more tanned, and sort of towards the end of summer, and after I've been on holiday and things, and I've got this one for now, when I'm not as tanned, because it's slightly lighter, this one. Um, so yeah, that's my orange. The yellow that I've got is the Duck Island Body Lotion. Um, and I actually got this in my January glossy box, I think it was. Um, and I haven't really used that much of it, because it goes such a long way that um, you hardly need to use anything at all. So um, I've still got quite a lot, decent amount left in it. Um, but yeah, so it's yellow and <laughs> it's nice and smells nice as well. So yeah, that's my yellow. For green I've got something that I picked up the other day and um, I thought I'd give it a go because I've always used the same um, face wash over and over again and it works, don't get me wrong, it works. But I just thought I would try something a bit different and so for green I've got the Neutrogena uh, Visibly Clear Pore and Shine Daily Scrub. Um, it, Yeah, I've used it a few times and it smells so nice. It says it's with tangerine and lime and you can definitely smell the tangerine. And yeah, it's really nice. And it's got um, little beads in it, which uh, exfoliates you. And yeah, it's good and it's green. So I can include it in this. <laughs> For blue, I have my trainers. Now they're a bit dirty, because I've been wearing them out when I go running and stuff but um, they are blue, they have blue on them and they're blue on the inside as well. These are well, they're running shoes, they're oh okay 
it doesn't say but they're Nike as you can tell from the tick um, oh Dart 9 um, although they're running shoes I always use them at the gym and when I play tennis and anything else really um, but they're just re really really comfy and they're I'm size 7 so I've got quite big feet um, but yeah and they're really nice and they're blue and they're really comfy because I when I do a lot of um, exercise I don't want them to start rubbing that's the one problem I have with some trainers but this these ones are nice and they don't rub and they got breathing bits like there for my feet so they can breathe <laughs> but yeah and they got blue on the bottom as well so yeah that's my blue for um, violet I have got this Rimmel 60 seconds nail polish it's a really nice colour and um, although it says it dries in 60 seconds it lies I never I haven't I didn't get it because it said it dried in 60 seconds because they never do they always lie they always smudge afterwards so um, but no it's a really nice sort of spring pastel colour and I know it's summer now which is hard to get my wrap my head around because although the weather's nice now it has not been but um, yeah, no, it's um, really nice, really sort of light, pastel y colour, which is really pretty. And um, it's really easy to apply as well. And it's really nice. So, yeah, that's my violet. Now, I have a lot of pink things. So, um, it was a bit tricky for me to decide which one I was going to use as my one pink in this tag. So, um, I have gone for my Tangle Teaser. Um, and now I've got many brushes, many hair brushes, but I was recommended this the Tangle Teaser because um, I've got long hair that knots so easily and um, it's just such a pain. So I thought I'd pick this up and I'm glad I did because it's small enough that you can, when you're going away somewhere, you can just take it and put it in your bag. It doesn't take up too much space um, and it, it's, um, it teases my tangles. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it, it brushes my hair nicely and it's easy to use, like that. <laughs> it's a hairbrush basically. But yeah, and I just really love the colour because it was bright pink. I think there was also like a sparkly purple, I think. But I went for this pink one because I thought this was nice. So for multicoloured, I have a lot of multicoloured uh, things, clothes and products and things. Um, so again it was a bit of a tricky decision but it could only really come down to this one thing it's in my top which is like that and it's red at the bottom and then it goes up and goes through the rainbow to the top like that and it's a really nice it's a bit creased at the moment but um, it's a really nice sort of floaty top that I've been wearing um, on my summer holidays I could just put it over my bikini just to make me a bit more decent um, and I can wear a bandeau top with it as well um, it's got low cut sleeves well arms um, so it's nice and floaty nice and nice good for the summer and yeah it's just a really nice sort of top that's pretty and it goes it's sort of like asymmetric so it goes down further at the front than it does sort of slightly to the side as well um, but yeah so that is my multicoloured. It's from um, New Look and I got it last year. I've, I've worn it loads since I got it anyway. Okay, so that is the rainbow all done. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> it was interesting for me to find what I have that's different colours, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, I will find try and find a link to all my different all those different products um, if they are still around. But yeah, so I will find links and put them in the down bar. As usual, all my links are down in the down bar as well. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll leave a link to Miss Glamorazzi's channel down uh, down below as well, um, as she's where I got this 
um, tag idea from and I tag you, all of you, to do this video and if you do um, leave it as a video response and I'll check them all out. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!